I'm privileged to say I'm a nurse by background and I think because of that background everything I do is about supporting and improving care for patients and their loved ones. Uh, in addition to being a nurse I have worked at executive level in the NHS so I really do understand the nature of the role as a chief executive. The benefits of hospice care are numerous in terms of supporting patients and their loved ones in very many different ways. This includes um, medical and nursing care, support from counsellors, social workers, um, nurses in the community, our day hospice services that all work together to support them through a very challenging time in their life. Hospice care has changed quite significantly over the years in terms of the needs of, of patients and families. Um, people are living longer with life-limiting illnesses um, and that means that from a hospice perspective we need to continue to think of ways in which we can support them longer. So the care we provide is not just about end of life, it's very much in the early stages of diagnosis to help those patients try and live with their uh, disease in the best possible way so they can. So it just provides care for patients with a whole range of different diagnoses and diseases. For us it's not just about cancer. We provide support to patients with motor neurone disease, Parkinson's disease and for some patients who are experiencing quite significant symptoms relating to their cardiology or respiratory diagnosis. So our overall aim is to provide a wide spectrum of care to a whole range of different groups. My priorities as a CEO is simply to ensure that we continually uh, consider the needs of our patients and and continue to be very ambitious in terms of how we support them uh, moving towards end of life. Um, I think we're ambitious as an organisation to understand that the um, changes in medical treatment and in uh, changes in society in terms of people living longer with illness means that we have to think about ways in which our services can be shaped slightly differently in order to support those people at different phases of their diagnosis. So as a hospice we work really closely with other NHS and social care providers in Worcestershire. Obviously we have very good relationships with our primary care colleagues and GPs and also um, the teams in Worcester Acute Hospitals Trust in terms of working together to provide the best care for patients. St Richards is funded partly by the NHS but the majority is by fundraising and our tremendous support from the community so we're blessed in terms of having that um, ongoing support from um, people of South Worcestershire and beyond in order to enable us to provide the care that we, we have within the hospice at the moment. When I reflect on St Richard's, I'm most proud of the legacy of the organisation in terms of the early days back in Droitwich with an ambition to provide end-of-life care to the people uh, of Worcestershire and thinking about how we are today with um, the super building in, in Worcester and ways in which we continually work together to ensure that we continually provide better and more uh, focused services to our patients the and their loved ones. This isn't just about supporting people um, towards the end of life. It's, it's far much more than that because what we try to do every day with the patients that we support is to help them and support them to live their lives to their best ability. It's sometimes a place of joy and fun and laughter and I think many of our sort of patients that come here really appreciate that it's really about living and it's not simply about death and dying.